Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to the Outer Wilds. Now this is an exploration game, a space-based exploration game, and we're going to jump straight in. Now, uh, the game was only released very, very recently. It came out just yesterday, so I haven't had much of a chance to look at it uh, just yet. This is going to be the first playthrough. We'll have a look at the first half hour or so of the game uh, just to get a feel of how it's like, or what it's like. And I'll come back later on with a full video to give an overview of the entire game. So if you don't really want to watch a half hour video just yet, then keep an eye out for the uh, shorter five to 10 minute video, which will be a bit of a summary of what the game's all about. And that will be coming a bit later, but this is indeed a very nice looking game. We're here on this world, every world in the game. And there's, you see, we can't get to the map just yet. There's, a, there's quite a few worlds we can access. Um, we've got a spaceship. They're minuscule worlds, they're all undersized but they're very densely packed, they're all handcrafted. And the idea is well, to have a bit of an adventure, a bit of a story, and to solve the mystery of what's going on. And we can talk with a bunch of the people that are dotted around. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, hey? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly you are leaving on your first solo voyage. What'd you say? Ready to get off this? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Systems are a go. Glad you're excited. But remember, if you wreck the ship, I'm not building you a new one. Not made of lightweight re-entry great aluminium alloys, you know. Right. Anyway, you'll need to go and get the launch codes from the observatory, and that's where we'll go. The that launch platform is right here. Made of wood, of course, because, uh, you know, the flammable thrusters or the flame-based thrusters from the uh, jets of the ship, the thrusters of the ship, are very good around combustible materials. I'm sure the platform won't burn down. So we can't go in there yet because we need the launch thrusters and we get those up in the observatory. So if we stand here, we can actually see the rotation of the world that we're on. We can see the uh, night sky turning by. And every so often we should see a planet come into view. So any planet we can see, we can visit. We can go there and land on. Looks like something interesting is going on on, on up that world, doesn't it? With the... Maybe a storm, perhaps? Maybe explosions, a war. Who knows? But when we get in our ship, we'll go up there and find out. All right. Jump in a little bit odd, because the longer you hold down the higher you actually jump, so it's worth keeping in mind. What's that up there? Treehouse type place. Oh, there's the observatory. So we've got a model flight here. We can get a bit of an idea for the flight mechanics of the game. And you do actually get inside your ship. It's not a little small thing that you fly remotely. You actually do get inside of it. This gives us an idea of how the thing actually flies. And there you go. If you're not careful, you end up in a bit of a uh, bit of disaster. Yeah, it, just need to take a little bit of figuring out to figure out how the uh, flight system actually works. But it's overall, it's not too bad. It's pretty good, and I'll prove the point. Or maybe not. Let's try that one more time. Let's try that again. <laughs> so if anyone remembers the old uh, the old games, what were they called? Jetpack was one? Was it Jetpack? I remember there was another game further back in in time. I'll have to look the game up. I played it on the Spectrum 48K. And that was very much like this. You used to have to uh, go against gravity, use uh, velocity and all the rest of it to land inside a bunch of caves. But it worked pretty well. So much easier to control from inside your ship, and hopefully we get inside the ship for too much longer. We can, of course, interact with all these characters. We can talk to Micah there, who will tell us all about the uh, about his little toy ship there. We're not going to do that. We're going to try and get to the observatory. Some nice things going on around here as well, of course. This all comes from having uh, handcrafted the worlds, of course, rather than... A procedurally generated worlds, handcrafted worlds. Allow for, yes, a tighter 
form of gameplay. They allow you to actually uh, create a predetermined world. A little bit better for adventure sometimes. But I guess there's a limitation on scale here. The number of planets here is far smaller than in something like No Man's Sky or uh, Elite Dangerous. And of course, you can do a bunch of other things here. I found out if we talk with this guy. And I haven't played too much past this. So I did a little bit of a uh, quarter of an hour playing around, having a look around this particular area just to get a feel for things before I jumped into this video. We can talk to uh, this kid here and play a game of uh, hide and seek. I won't read through that, but we're basically asking if we're willing to play a game of hide and seek. And there's a tool that it teaches you how to use, which is the signal scope. So as we're looking around, when there's a signal, when there's something to discover, there we go. Nice, you can actually hear a bit of music when it's, when it's on point. Well, let's not end up in the water. How are we going to get out of here then? So, you, you do have a jetpack. I don't know if I've got a jetpack at this particular time. It doesn't look like I do have a jetpack just yet, so... We're going to have to try and... Climb out. There we go, we're out. Nope, not on this side. Let's climb out on the other side. There we go. So, yeah, we can use this... Uh, this tool to locate a variety of things. This comes in very useful when you're up in space. It won't actually work yet because we're uh, in this within this game, within this activity, this game of hide and seek and oh no, I'm in the water again. Let's see if we can get around from the other direction here. So we found him. His hiding was super good. We can look for the other person, but we're going to continue on to the observatory. So you can see we was in daytime earlier on, and we've gone through to uh, nighttime. Looks like there's a comet up there, doesn't it? I wonder if we can actually land on that. And here comes the local moon, which we can also land on. A campfire on that local moon. Of course, the worlds, like I say, they're very, very small. They're minuscule, but that doesn't really detract from the sense of adventure or the sense that there's actually things to explore and do around here. A zero-G cave. You want to go in there? It's up here then if that's the observatory. I'm gonna no, we're gonna go we're gonna go to the observatory. Oh, I see it's over there. Right, so there is a bit of a twist to the game and we'll find that out in a little bit. I'm gonna mention it now. We're gonna find out as it actually happens here comes sunrise. So yeah, if there's uh, any spoilers you want to avoid then you might want to but not really watch everything that's going to happen here. But it is a big part of the game. So in a sense, it's probably not a spoiler. It's one of the first things that you find about the game when you're reading any material about it. So, it's stuck in a time loop. The game is basically uh, kind of like Groundhog Day. The moment you die, you respawn back at the campfire that we spawned at early on. And the day continues. The day goes through the same process yet again. Right, so what's this about? The idea is to find out what's going on, what the time loop is about, and the whole other mystery in this solar system. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai. Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewellery that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in this solar system, we still have no idea where this species came from. 
what happened to them. Curious. To how? Here's my favorite astronaut. Launched at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator's tools. Translator tools inaugural flight too. I'm so excited, making me nervous. Just think, you're about to translate any no may text you want. Anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Ah, jeez. Oh, jeez. Do not break it. Well, don't be nervous. Uh, ignore me, I'm just nervous and not even the one. They're going into space. How are you? I'm excited. Good. We've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So we uh, looked at the statue there. We're going to skip a bit of this text and to many times there so uh, the reason I'm skipping some of the text there is so we can see as much of the game as possible in this video but like I say a bit of a first impressions type video unusual looking statue all right so I guess these are uh, models of the planets that are in our star system and of course that's not our star system as in the solar system the solar system that Earth's in but rather the uh, star system, the solar system that's in the game here. So a whole bunch of things in the observatory. It's a little bit like a, a museum here. Well worth spending some time going around and having a look at all of this. In fact, the game seems packed with lots of different things to explore and check out, but not the sort of thing I'm going to do in this video here because obviously we want to get up in space and here's the guy that we need to talk to. He should be able to hopefully give us our launch codes and let's see what he has to say. Are we ready to go? Right, there you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground, about time. And you'll be our first astronaut ever, equipped with a no-made translator too, I confess. I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We'd better, no, we'd better equipped than ever to unravel the mystery of the no -may. You, You and Hal should be very proud of your work. What's your plan? I want to go somewhere no one has gone before. I like it. You'll have plenty of options to choose from. No one's ever landed on the interloper before, you know. Perhaps you'll be the first. I must say, you should go to Dark Bramble. Be very careful. No one's explored there before either. For what you'll find are excellent reasons. Well then, looks like all that's left to do is send you off all in all. It's a fine day for launch. I'm ready. Let's go. We need the launch codes. Thank you uh, very, very much. So, time to go. What have we got over here? A little map. Whoa. A real-time map, no less. That's super cool. I really like that. Right. The, oh, we can navigate around this. So, the interloper they mentioned is over here. Let's have a look at that. So, yeah, that's a comet. Probably the one... We can see, looks like it gets closer to the sun every so often. What have we got out here? No names on the, this, but it to be a little bit sparkly. Right, you are here on Timber Earth. There's a dark brown ball. He also suggested to go there. A brittle Hollow. A brittle Hollow. There's Lantern. Okay, Lava World, I guess. I assume it's too small for a the sun, and it does look to have some land on it. What else have we got? Giant's Deep, Gas Giant. Okay, right, let's, let's get out of here. We've got the launch codes and speak back to the launch platform. Let's not kill ourselves in the process. Let's head on out. Oh, something going on. That creepy statue. Okay. Oh, hang on a minute. That is everything I just did. That's a repeat of everything. That was interesting. I like that. That was literally a replay of everything we just played through in this uh, play session in this video so far. There's a statue remembering it. Right, where's that? Launch platform, launch tower down here. Oh! Hey, hey, so did you get a good look at that Ome statue? The statue looked at me and opened its eyes. 
Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean like an hallucination? Listen, no offence, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like medically speaking? No, that statue definitely is weird. Okay, I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Unfell has tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. don't think you're going to get any answers uh, from the museum statue, but Gabro said that they were going back to Giant's Deep. So Giant's, Giant's Deep, Giant's Deep even, was that green gas giant. don't know which island they're on, though. Islands on a gas giant. Maybe uh, they'd be able to tell you. On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. And maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Geez, I'm really jealous of you going to space. Hey, see if you can use our translator talk to find out more on that statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. So that gives us an indication of what we need to do. It's very, very uh, open play here. That game literally dumps you straight in. It doesn't really tell you what you need to do. As you saw, it just tells you go get the launch code. So we've got to do that. And beyond that, it's not giving us anything else to do other than, as that guy said, perhaps go and visit Gabro on... Giants. Was it Giants Deep? Perhaps we'll do that. Perhaps we'll land on one of the other worlds. Come on, where where is the launch platform? Nope. Getting stuck on the land there. They're not through any bug or anything. Just I've got caught in the that log. Down. Yep. Ah, uh, hang on, I know where we are. We're coming around here in a circle back to the campfire. That we started at. Roast a marshmallow. Why not? Extend the stick. Or roasted marshmallows. Like these. Uh, how do we put it out? Oh, we, we melted it. We melted it. There we go. Nice. <laughs> well, we didn't sound too impressed with that, did he? Alright, enter the launch codes. We can now go up. We weren't able to do that a little early on. And there's our strange looking ship. Let's have a quick look around though. I can't see too much because we're in some sort of that crater type area with this large cliffs around us. Is that the interloper? The comet coming over? And there's that moon again with the what looks like a campfire trail on it. Okay. Teleported into our ship. View ship log. View entries. Owl says Gabro went back to Chi Giant's Deep to try to learn more about the Nome statue in the observatory. Okay. So, that's greyed out, I guess, because we haven't visited there yet, but we have got information about it. All the rest are completely blanked out. So, how many have we got here? That's two, four, six, seven, eight, nine locations that we can visit. Oh. Outer World Adventures. Suit up. Okay. What's this? I like the heads up display here. See beyond the horizon. Little scout. Return to suit. Illuminate dark areas. Uh, detect hazards. Test environment. Okay. Guess for time for lift off then. Blast off. Guess. Not sure. Yeah, lift off. Right. Hold uh, left shift to go. Now I'm going to tilt down actually to see our departure. That's it. So you can see the world is pretty small. That was the bulk of the area that we actually uh, walked around. But there's probably other locations around the planet as well. Yeah, we have got other locations. So the forest over there, another world down here. Massive waterfall. So each world has got multiple locations to visit. Go inside that area. It looks like it, doesn't it? I wouldn't 
be too comfortable trying to navigate in that until I'm a bit more used to how things play. So look at the moon. Uh, press left mouse button to lock on. Right, and you can see we've got some motion indicators there to tell us our current velocity. So we need to go left a little bit and a little bit of upwards thrust. And we're now basically in line with that moon, which is now drifting outside of our alignment. There we go. Once it's blue, you know you're on approach. Now, you do have an autopilot here as well, I do believe. At least from what I understand. Hold shift to uh, match velocity X to engage autopilot. What have we got over here? Ash twin. Got any fuel? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, crikey. I thought I was ejecting out the ship there for a second. <laughs> and I thought I was in trouble. I just got outside the pilot seat. He's stuck together. Looks like they're linked together somehow. What else have we got? Dark Bramble. Now, they did say go visit that because it's an interesting location. Unexplored. The reason you'll find out when you get there, apparently. Broken World, perhaps. Or Dark Bramble, because maybe a, a tree light structure? Let's see if we can actually a little bit closer to that. We've got a... We need some more downwards velocity. There we go. Now we can head towards it. That's it. I'm not going to use autopilot just yet because I want to get it filled for how this works. So I need to kind of fly in the opposite direction to... No, in the same direction as those arrows because we're travelling in the opposite direction to the arrows. So, yeah, kind of on the distance it looked like a um, broken world, but I can see why it's called a bramble, dark bramble. Right, and that looks like the world we may want. Yeah, Giant's Deep, the green gas giant. So we're looking at for an island, the gas giant. And that's the world that we were looking at early on, the one that had the uh, storms going on or the red explosions. So one thing I do like about this, uh, it's not a it's not a flight sim, it's not a space sim, so I don't expect completely realistic flight models, but there are some elements of realism here in that your ship does maintain its current velocity. If you keep flying in one direction, I've let go of all the thrusters now, your ship will keep going in that direction, and you'll need to use uh, correction thrusters to try and get you on course. And then, of course, Re, uh, reverse, reverse, reverse thrust, so that you don't crash too hard into wherever it is you're heading towards. Still very curious to see what an island on a gas giant is supposed to look like. We're going to hit too hard here if we're not careful. Three thousand meters, two thousand meters. Yes, we need to slow our velocity down a little bit here. Thirty meters a second. Oh, we're going to shoot past it now instead of going into it. Here we go. Oh, through the atmosphere. In the atmosphere. Oh, there's the clouds. Tilt down a bit. Oh, it's a water world. <laughs> Let's get out of the water. Right, so a gas giant of sorts with a water-based core and... Who the heck knows what's going on there? This actually looks really nice. Impressive. So, complete fantastical type worlds, fancy worlds, but no less impressive for it. And there's those storms we were seeing. It was storms. I love this. This looks really, really nice. I guess we want to keep out of these whirlpools. Ah, oh, here's an island. With a landing pad. I'll land here. I don't know if that's the island that the, the guy's on. Let's try and land here. We've got a landing camera. And we're down. Okay, how do we get out? Not the escape hatch. Just the fuel. I assume we've got plenty of fuel. I want to see if the world is actually lit up now. They're still grey. 
That's just because I haven't actually left out. There we go. Out the hatch we came in on. Just trying to figure out if those massive vortices are heading in this direction, and if so, what happens if we're caught in one? I don't really want to be caught in one of those. Looks like they go up into the upper atmosphere, doesn't it? Right, I was just using shift to try and run there, so hold space to fire jetpack booster. Right, so shift and space gives us our booster. Gravity is tw twice here, two G's. Which is why we can't jump too far. So how many times have I gone end up in the water here? Nope, we're across. Let's see if I can get across the other the other one. It's assuming that we can get back. No idea how we get back. Translate. Hold to translate. Statue workshop. Is that what that word is saying? Your workshop, so that doesn't tell us a lot. There's another one of those strange statues. Oh, we've deployed the camera, so we do have a drone or a module that we can use. Whoa, what the? Why am I on my side? So <laughs> we can walk up the walls. Okay, that's always handy. Maybe that's what those purple edges are for. I see. They're allowing us to get round at this island. Because I was kind of wondering there, the walkway didn't look big. Tree detected, oxygen tank refilled. I see we've got some fuel and some uh, oxygen. There's another thing to translate. Untranslated, no me. Right in. Uh, they are going to test the memory statues tonight. So the memory statues. Flox says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But the whole thing. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? What do you want to see the test? What do you want to see the test too, Lemmy? But that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flox and... The let us see a laser test. I like the way the text is on here. This is completely foreign type of alph alphabet or uh, linguistics. It almost looks, uh... What? Uh... This is weird. I think we're in space. Yeah, Giant's Deep is below us, and now we're closing in. I hope we don't actually... You know what? It looked like the we just found out what happens if one of those vortices gets near us. Or maybe it was something else, but I think this island just got launched up into space. I was literally about to say that the linguistics here, the writing, almost looks fractal, doesn't it? Like it's got a fractal element to it. So what bit didn't we read yet? Flox specifically told us not to do that. Not to, what, use the other door? Okay. So I assume I don't really want to be standing outside when the island gets launched into space again. I was kind of lucky I was indoors. Because I lost contact with the ground. I was lifted off the ground. So if I was in space, I'd probably end up stuck in space. Right, so there's definitely... Um, let's go up here. There's definitely something below there. 
we was above on a grid. We could see down into the building. Let's see what we got up here first. So I guess perhaps I could have landed here. Maybe. No, can't get up there. Can't jump high enough. Nope, can't go quite get high enough. There's definitely something going on here. So there's a number of puzzles in the game, obviously. Is this a maze? Right, okay. Welcome to Giants Deep Friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. Okay. And what? Oh, more text. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below, inside the island. Right, well we saw the, uh, we saw the door, didn't we, to the statue workshop. What we didn't see was a way to open that door. So, I guess we head back to that. Now, I don't like this. The last time that lightning come, we was was propelled into space shortly after or shortly before wasn't we? How did we get back? I've got myself turned around. I think it was this direction wasn't it? Yeah here we go. Alright let's get back into that building. So like I was saying 2 gravity here 2G. Um, I assume that means other worlds have different strengths of gravity. Maybe the moon is weaker a doorway over there. Right, so we can use the camera here. We can rotate it round with one, two, three, and four. Nothing there. We could probably see uh, see ourselves there. That's the ray. Hold the key to bring it back. I can't. You know what? I'm wondering if those um, those blue pads are teleportation pools. What do you reckon they'll teleport us? Oh, maybe. Looks like there's a vent or something above that. Pad. Let's see if we can get the. Launch the scout onto the onto the pad. Oh, no, it's not a uh, it's not a vent, but you are willing to bet these are teleportation ports or pads, something like that. It's these things there. So whilst we can see things with a probe, we can't actually uh, directly interact with anything, unfortunately. There's a statue. I want to see what's on that uh, on that wall. Closer. Uh, too close. up into space again are we whoa yep we're ah see So these pads light up when the... Yeah, only when the island's launched into the air. Okay. So how often is that happening? Once every five minutes or so, by the looks of it. Uh, then again, there may be another way in. Uh, let's, let's head back to that grill. Okay, so after a few minutes of that, it seems that, oh, the uh, 
things aren't doorways, or at least they're not working in. But the reason I just was kind of all there is because I noticed there's water down there. And we're kind of up high at the moment, so I'm wondering if that's an underwater cave. Hopefully we've got time to get around there and check again. Uh, this way, I think. Let's see. As long as I don't fall too far here. Shall we try it? Underwater cave? Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. We're going to smash ourselves. <sighs> that was close. I want to downwards a bit, the looks of it. Okay, so the the water world does have a core as well, so it's not just a water core and a gas world. That'd be worth trying to go down to in a bit, and yes. We're inside. So that's the door that wheel's on the other side of. Which is now open. Tell you what, listening here, one thing the game has got is some exquisite music. Very, very ambient. It's, it's a wonderful game to explore if you're into exploring in any way whatsoever. If you're into exploring into any way whatsoever, then this game is going to be very much for you. And yes, it is on the Epic Store. It is not available on Steam. I think a lot of people are going to be a bit disappointed with that. But the game is very much worth it. And with the current discount on the Epic Store, it means you can get this game for just £10 instead of at £20. So you can't really uh, grumble. And by all means, I haven't played... Uh, extensively yet, but it's hard not to feel impressed by this type of exploration with things to discover. The just the whole sensation that there's things out there to see, a mystery to solve. So the statue workshop definitely see the statues being carved here. Let's see if we can get further in and see what's going on. So there is the grid that we had earlier. Can we actually shoot the camera up the other direction? I think we're flying up into space again here, aren't we? Are we? We're inside, so it doesn't matter. Let's see. Look at that. The water's gone. I oh, know the water's still there. Is it? It's a lot darker. No, we're definitely up in space, I think. Are we? Oh! What the... Did I just fall off the edge of the... I'm dead and I don't know why. I guess I should have been a bit quicker. We are now getting in the memory loop. Hey, you ready to get this thing off the ground? The ship's all filled and ready to go. All systems go. I'm ready if you are. You sure you fixed the retro rockets? Uh, did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something. You still look half asleep, but it's a negative on being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before launch, but if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. Well, there we go. There we have it. The first time loop. Yes, we need to head back to Giant's Deep again and get into that statue. Now, I hope, I hope the door is actually open there on the statue workshop. And I don't have to go in underground again. I have to try and be a little bit quicker next time. But for now, this is where we're going to leave the video. I will definitely be back with this again. It's an extremely interesting game. And keep an eye out for that overview video, which I'll hopefully release at, at some point towards the middle of next week. Very nice game so far. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys and girls next time.